Hi everyone, this is my Dearly Departed video for um, June. And I didn't really burn or melt that much this month. Um, I'm trying things a little differently. I'm trying to burn through an entire candle before I move on to another one. But <clears throat> I um, I don't know, I just didn't melt a lot this month. Um, I'm going to start with the wax melts first. I finished up Tiffany candles, coffee, and donuts. And it's that cinnamon donut scent that she has mixed with coffee. And it, it wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. It wasn't bad. I probably won't repurchase this one, but I liked it. I liked her coffee scent, but it wasn't as strong as I thought it was going to be. And I, the cinnamon donut kind of fragrance, um, it was nice for in the morning. Um, if I want my house to smell like I had coffee and pastry, um, however, it just wasn't, it's not something that I would like stock up on. It's, it's, it's decent. And if you like cinnamon and coffee fragrances, give it a try. See if it's, it's your cup of tea. I mean, it smells nice. It just wasn't exactly to, you know, what I was expecting, but that's okay. Um, I still love Tiffany candles. There's plenty of fragrances that she has that I haven't gotten to yet because I might have used one melt out of it and have been saving the others. So I will get to those eventually and I'll have to place another order. So um, just stick with me on that one. Next, I bought one of those jar shaped melts from um, Yankee Candle and I got it in Home Sweet Home. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but this is a really spicy scent. Um, it kind of reminds me of those cinnamon brooms you can get during the fall. And it's just a nice cinnamon scent that I can melt anytime, especially like after I clean the house and I want my house to smell like I've really been like baking or whatever. It's not a bakery scent, but it's spicy. I think of it as like kitchen spice, but without like the orange. It's definitely like cinnamon and clove and, and just real, real strong. This wasn't really that strong to me. I was expecting it to be a lot stronger. Now the jar shaped tarts are supposed to pop out of the warmer and actually it did. It slid right out. I didn't have to put ice on it. I didn't have to stick the thing in the freezer. I didn't have to turn it on for a couple seconds and let it warm up. I didn't have to do anything. It slid right out of the warmer. So they do work. Just in case you were curious about that. They do actually work. All right. I finished two candles this month. Both Yankee. Both the single wick jars. Um, Summer Scoop was one of them, and sorry the jar looks nasty. I had dumped the wax out um, when I was done with it so I can put it in the recycling bin. This smells so good. I could kind of smell it while it was burning in my kitchen. Definitely better in a tart form. It smells like a strawberry milkshake to me or strawberry ice cream. I definitely would buy tarts of this. I know little Balladeer had said, you know, kind of stay away from the candle itself. You might want to get some of the tarts. But I guess I had ordered this and I didn't recall getting it. And instead of taking it back like I should have, I went ahead and burned it anyway. Shame on me. But it was decent. It, it didn't throw like I was hoping. But it was okay. And I, I definitely would get tarts in that. I do like that fragrance. Um, the other one is carrot cake. You go from one extreme to the next. I had the spicy cake and some sweet ice cream. Um, this is just a really nice carrot cake fragrance. I love how it's spicy. It doesn't have too much of that um, cream cheese frosting or whatever's on a carrot cake, but it does have that sweetness. It's it's just a nice, well balanced cake scent. I really really like this one, and. It's been around a lot lately, like every other month, it's like the treasure scent. So um, if you can find it, pick it up. I know that they had it for the semi-annual sale, but I think, I mean, it's long gone. But I would just kind of keep your eye out on it. You might find it. And um, I love it. 
I think I have a couple of these on backup just in case, you know, I can't find it again. And that's really all the wax I've used. Next, I have body products. And the only shower gel I got through was Forever Sunshine. And I don't think that they have this one anymore. Um, it smells like it's got, I don't know. Like an, uh, I don't know how to describe this fragrance. It smells like it's got like an amber kind of scent, like some some so, sort of musk to it. But I really like it. Um, I would say it's not like sensual amber, but that's what it kind of has a little bit of that to it. It's, I think it's sweeter and it's not as strong as uh, sensual amber is, but it's definitely something I like. They don't have it out anymore. I think you can buy it online, but um, I picked it up a little while ago before I think it went out, and I got a couple of the shower gels. And I, I like it. It's a good good one for the summer. All right, next I have one foaming soap, which I got for free um, in one of the VIP bags. This must have been last year or two. It might even be two years ago. I have no idea. But the soap hadn't expired yet. This is fresh lavender. You can't really read that, but it smelled like fresh lavender. At first, I didn't care for this, but it kind of grew on me, and my husband wanted that out instead of peach bellini. He didn't like peach bellini, so um, I put lavender out. I tried to put like a, I don't want to say like a cologne, just something very basic in the bathroom um, at his sink because he does not like what I want to have, like this one. He doesn't like cinnamon heaven. He didn't care for that one at all. So I put this one at my sink and it is like, it kind of rem reminds me of just like vanilla and cinnamon mixed together. It smells good. I liked it. And then in the kitchen we had fresh picked pears and it smelled like fresh picked pears. It's nice juicy pear scent. And it actually smelled really nice on my hands. Like I, Sometimes I have um, soap that doesn't smell good when it's on my hands after a while and I, I'm like, I can't use that anymore. Like I'm using one up right now in the kitchen that I, I, at first I thought my husband would like that, but he was like, I don't, I don't think it smells good. It kind of, I don't know, it smells rank on my hands, but I want to use it up. I know that sounds really bad, but you know, when you pay for something, you want to just use it up and get it over with. It's the, um... Tangelo Orange Twist. It smells really nice in the bottle, but then after a while on my hands, I don't know, something, it just does not mesh well with my skin or my oils or whatever. But anyway, so that's all I've used up this month. There wasn't a whole lot going on. Um, I hope to have more for you all next month. Um, I have been on a crazy spending spree. I have lots of Yankees to go over for my semi-annual sale, and I also have been buying a lot of nail polish lately. During the summer, really, all I can buy is Yankee and Bath and Body Works because everything else will melt in the mail. Um, but I decided I was going to buy some nail polish, and so I'm going to start doing some nail polish videos just to show you the hauls and stuff. I am not a guru nor will I ever, ever claim to be because I am not good at painting my nails. I just like to paint them for the fun of it, especially during the summer when I can put crazy colors on and it doesn't really matter. But so just kind of look out for those and I will make sure they're clearly labeled. So if you're strictly here for wax, you'll be able to see that that's not a wax video. But anyway, um, I think that's all I have to say. If there's something that you want to, I don't know, know more about, or if there's a candle or whatever I've talked about earlier, or a tart or anything from a company, please don't hesitate to ask me for a review. I'll be glad to do it for you. Um, I have no problems doing any of that for you. Now is a great time for that to happen. Um, also, you know, keep your eye on the blog because I try to update that as well. Sometimes I have drafts, so you might have to go back and look to see if new things come up. 
I'll have to figure out how to change the date so it'll do it, you know, the newest one. But anyway, so until my next video, take care.